first time buyers are great because um, they're full of energy and it's, and it's a huge time in their life, their first home. And for them, it's great. I love working with them because they know nothing and I don't mean that disrespectfully. It's just they've never bought a home before. So there's lots of information online. Some of it's accurate, some of it's not. So again, I'm able to um, help them through. And this is what I tell my first time buyers. Make sure that whoever you hire, you trust. That you feel like they've got your back, right? They're giving you the information that you don't even know that you don't know right? Because they've done this before. That if they call or send you a text or an email that you're going to respond as quickly as you can. It's feedback. It's constant contact. Being listened to is the most important thing, right? Being listened to. So if you're telling me that you want this type of home in this type of neighborhood, then that's what I'm going to show you. I'm not going to take you to properties that don't fit your criteria or because maybe I want to sell it, I want to sell that. On the other side of that is if sometimes buyers will tell me, that well, this is what I want, okay? And then we'll go and see some places together and I have this, I read people really well. So sometimes people tell you what they want, but it's not really what they want. Do you know what I mean? So it's the ability to sort of read people and see their reaction as they're walking through a home. I'm like, okay, so they, they're telling me that they like this but I'm seeing something different when I'm spending time with them. So the more time I spend with my buyers, the better I get to know them. And so sometimes I'll show them something different that they, they've told me doesn't interest them, but I'm learning that maybe it will. And then once I start showing them that type of home, I'm like, hey, you know what? You're right, this really does suit our needs better. So that's kind of an interesting thing that can happen as well. So I think from a buyer's perspective is having someone who really listens to them and makes them feel like, okay, this person knows what we're looking for and they're taking good care of us. And then when it comes to the negotiation side of things, um, you know, making sure that we're working as hard as we can, as smartly as we can to get them what they want um, so that everybody's happy.